A disturbing scene unfolding in Iraq, one of the very cities American soldiers fought to protect. Tonight, it's now in the hands of Al Qaeda. So dangerous, the Iraqi soldiers, our troop tra troops trained, now on the run. And so are a half million families. In fact, look at this, a massive traffic jam, cars trying to get out of the city to get out of harm's way. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz, who has traveled to Iraq more than 20 times with the desperate race to get out tonight. The sounds of all out war, explosions, gunfire, Al Qaeda flags flying, militants linked to the terror group today moving freely throughout the city. Mosul was once a focal point of America's fight to bring peace and stability to this country. More than 200 U.S. troops in all giving their lives to secure the city. It was where a confident General David Petraeus told me hundreds of thousands of Iraqi forces being trained would and, uh, not be intimidated. You can't have that situation, and, uh, and I don't think you'll see it here. But today, those same Iraqi forces fled under attack in U.S.-supplied armored vehicles, eventually abandoning them, their weapons, and even their uniforms. And this is just the latest city to spiral out of control. So 11 years after the U.S. invaded Iraq, lost nearly 4,500 American lives and spent over $730 billion, Iraq is in crisis. Those Iraqi forces were trained and expected to stand up to the threat. Clearly they failed. And tonight there is little the U.S. can do about it. David? Very troubling pictures tonight. Martha, thank you. Friday morning, the chaotic situation in Iraq shows no signs of letting up as militants claim even more territory. And now President Obama is weighing his options as the insurgents creep closer to Baghdad. So will U.S. strikes be next? ABC's Kristen Fisher live in Washington with reaction from the White House. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Well, President Obama says the U.S. military is going to do something. But after nearly nine years of war and sacrifice in Iraq, one option that's not on the table is putting more U.S. troops back on the ground. This cell phone video shot just yesterday appears to show Islamic extremists parading through the northern Iraqi city of Mosul in vehicles seized from Iraqi soldiers. Those soldiers have been trying to stop the militants as they storm through city after city towards Baghdad. But as this YouTube video posted by the militant shows, the Iraqi troops are losing. Thousands of Iraqi soldiers are seen here surrendering to the militants with links to Al-Qaeda. Iraq's government is now begging the U.S. to step in. Yesterday, a cautious President Obama said help is on the way. My team is working uh, around the clock to identify how we can uh, provide uh, the most effective assistance to them. The White House is now weighing a range of short-term military options, including airstrikes. But putting American troops back on the ground isn't one of them. Instead, the president is calling on the international community to help. 11 years after U.S. troops toppled Saddam Hussein, hundreds of American contractors have now been evacuated from a base in northern Iraq, prompting the Secretary of State to say the time to act is now. We are deeply concerned about what is happening in Iraq. Another country not waiting, Iran, Iraq's historical arch nemesis. Tehran has already dispatched more than 100 elite fighters to help the Iraqi government. 